Yo, what's up? Welcome to the channel. We're going to be uh, playing just a nice cheeky little uh, king run today, actually. So we'll just take kind of a random sieve. Um, uh, I mean, they're pretty easy anyway. I mean, everybody's kind of going to be, huh? You know what? Might as well. They're my favorite sieve anyway. So <laughs> we'll uh, roll it in with these guys. And yeah, we'll just kind of take it easy and just kind of roll through this guy and see how much fun we can have. I hope y'all like the video. If you do, please do leave a like. If you're new to the channel, like what you see, hit that subscribe button as well. I really would appreciate it. And uh, most of all, man, though, honestly, thank you guys for being here. Um, should be fun. We'll just kind of, you know, be a little breezy. Be a little breezy. But uh, yeah, we'll start trying to get out uh, two videos a week now, actually, too. And um, mostly because <clears throat> I do, like I said, want to kind of start playing some other stuff on here as well. But... Uh, you know, I think that equals that you guys should get more content too. If you know you're here for the Civ Rev, which you know all of you are, and thank you so much. So uh, yeah, but really, I'm just gonna try to kind of you know see about growing the channel a little bit more, and bringing in some other stuff. So I'll probably play some college football uh, when it comes out. I didn't get you know the early early access, and uh, probably won't be able to play it much when it gets to you know actually drops uh, initially either so I'll be a little behind on that and that's fine but uh yeah so kind of looking out for that stuff and yeah that's about it um is there anything else you guys would like to actually see me play any I mean I wouldn't mind uploading like some Civ 6 playthroughs but all I can really beat it on is standard right now like the medium level um so, you know, if you guys are interested in that, or I can, you know, try to upload some deity runs where maybe I don't get totally worked. Uh, if you guys are interested in that, uh, but let me know. I would actually like to get your guys' input, obviously, and, you know, figure out what you guys are into and, you know, what else we can do out here. So, let me know. Oh, and as far as uh, doing more weekly runs and stuff like that... Um, Uh, let me know what you guys want to see. Um, we'll kind of do like a, you know, like a deity playthrough and, you know, that'll be kind of one of our things a week, but we can do like challenge runs or, um, you know, all sorts of other stuff. So we're going to go this way because I think it might get us down here a little with a little less disruption, if you will. But maybe we'll go see if we can take out the English real quick. Woof. It's beautiful. I mean, ideally, if this were a horseman, that would actually be really cool. Because <laughs> we might be able to just walk in on him. Alright, we're going to wait one turn, get our free set of settlers. gonna get this? 1 and 21. We'll probably have to fight him. And that's okay. Um, <clears throat> as far as setting up a city goes, over here actually looks pretty nice. So let's slide over this way. Um, excuse me. Uh, I want to slide over here, actually, and see what's kind of in the water. But right there is probably looking like where we're gonna end up. I'm going to pay for another set of warriors just to have here in my capital.
All right, slide them down. Then you're gonna go two science, one food, just for a turn. So we're gonna take that hill. And then we'll go after him. Just wanted to see if there was anything in the water down there to the south. Doesn't look like it, that's okay. Okay, do that for one turn. They don't even have anybody. Beautiful. Okay, so people have asked this before. Um, here. Okay, so see now how there's a flag in my city and there wasn't before? That's because there's a unit in my city. Right now, there's no flag in this city. That means that there's nobody there. So we'll just go ahead and slide down here and we'll take these guys out. I guess we can kind of use this run too as a little bit of a a little bit of a walkthrough, we'll say. I'll try to be, I'll try to explain a little bit more about, you know, what I'm doing and why I'm doing things and stuff like that, so. All right, well, that's easy. So now we're gonna come up here. Do you wanna go back to our capital? So right now our turn rotation, the fastest way we can get the city to grow is to put this on two food and one science. The reason I didn't do that last time is because it would have taken 30 turns and obviously, uh, uh, it would take then, uh, basically we'd be wasting a turn and we wouldn't be getting the extra science rotation as we're trying to spit out. Um, so that's why we did that. Also, I am going to, when I build that other city over there, I'm going to build a galley there. And we're going to go start picking up some of these artifacts. With these guys. That's okay. You know, I should have went up one. Totally should have went up one. Could have taken advantage of this too. That's alright, we'll just build another city up there, I guess. But So we're going to come here, go ahead and build our galley. I just want to tell it where to go, so I'm going to put it in the water right there. And that's because that first artifact is right there next to us. I'm going to get that going on two food, because I want that city to grow as fast as I can as well. We're going to use this... So like to see if we can see any, find any grasslands, <clears throat> excuse me, or anything like that. Go ahead and pick that up next turn. Okay, so we're gonna come down here as well. We're gonna swap this to just two food. Awesome. Okay, so we're gonna get going on alphabet right away. I just just checking population turns and making sure everybody's kind of moving in the direction I want them to. We'll go ahead and send these guys out here to the south. <clears throat> We're just going to disperse our uh, units. Just kind of see where the best places will be to set up. Take it a little slow with this guy because we don't want it to get taken by uh, some barbarians. Curious. Step up there real quick. Just kind of see what I can see in that island. I'm going to step right back down. Okay. Looking good. Looking good. See? That's why you don't normally just go stepping up into random locations. So I'll step back now. Go south first and then we'll go over west. Nice. <laughs> it's kind of looking for that. We're going to go back over there. We'll get uh, that other great person out of there as well. Probably just go settle them both right in the capital. Up 
here. Drop these guys up here just to see what else I can see on this island. Alright, we're gonna go pottery next. Chinese over there to the right. Might be another sieve over here, maybe? There's not usually barbarian villages directly next to friendly villages, so if you see one of those, you can kind of take it safely. All right, we'll go masonry next. And this is the same tech path I always take, okay? I always go, uh, <clears throat> what's the first one, writing? I forget, that's bad. But whichever one gives you library and then pottery and then uh, masonry, because I want to try to get walls. Also, I should have paid for a library here a long time ago. If I was able to afford it. Um, part of the reason, though, the Aztecs are, like, one of my favorite civs, uh, um, is because that they just heal after combat. You also start with 25 gold, so you can buy a warrior unit right away, which means basically you can go out and just get a walk-in on another civ. Like, I could have... The reason I stayed and I fought for that barbarian villages because I didn't want them to get it get money and then when I got by them they could have bought a unit so that's why we kind of did what we did there just keep scrapping probably a good spot for another city right there actually Go step down over on that hill okay not another sieve right here Over there. Okay. We'll send these guys up here and we'll just create a blockade against the Chinese. Send these guys over here to the left. Scoping for new cities. Just wherever we could maybe build something. All we need is $10 and we can. Okay, so here uh, we're going to do the same thing we did in our capital. We're going to go two science, one food just for a turn. Same here. See how it's at a uh, plus two population. I'm getting plus two food each turn, but it's going to take 15 turns. So obviously it's going to take 30, right? And the best multiple we can get to get us there quickly would be using two of these. But by using two of those, that's actually going to burn one of our... Uh, um, it's basically going to burn 25 or 50% of one of those turns when we turn to our next population, if you will. Um, because it can't use that, right? Like, 8 times 4 would be 32. And we only need 30. So we can do 2 this time, pick up 2 extra science then. Um... And then it just kind of helps us just, you know, be the most economical about our early game management as we can be. Uh, I mean, the Chinese usually start with some advantages, so I really don't want to give this to them. So we're just going to go over here instead. Grab that bad boy. And that is actually going to give me... Um, That'll give me, uh, what is it, uh, a market right now? Or no, it won't give me a market. It'll give me currency, but because I get currency that way, it actually doesn't give me the market for free. So I want to discover uh, currency through technology, not through getting it through money. So I actually want to spend money right now to get under $250 safely. Okay, there we go. So we built some settlers here, which I wanted, and then a library here, which I also wanted. We're going to build another library here. That gets us well under. We can use our early game production to do what we need to do. If you're getting attacked right now, obviously, you can spend it on defense, but we don't need to do that. Let's 
see if maybe we want to just set up on one of these islands. We're going to go right here because we'll get access to this, this, and we'll get access to this, which is iron. Um, if that were aluminum, I wouldn't take that right now because... Uh, you don't get access to that until late game, so then I'd be basically relying on a workshop. Um, for all of my production there. And if you don't get it for free through construction, then they're kind of expensive. So I don't really want to spend money on that. But because it's iron, I mean, I can get plus two production from that as soon as I discover iron working, so. We're going to pop up here real quick. I just want to see what's in the water. Yep, okay. So we're going to come up here. We're going to stop. We're going to grab these other warriors. And bring them over here. And we're going to stop as well. And basically is what we're doing is we're creating... We're going to set up in these choke points and create blockades against the Chinese. And that's going to force them to settle there. Or if they're going to move into our territory, they're not going to be able to declare war on us when they're right next to our city. Obviously the game does cheat which means they will, uh, sometimes troops will just appear in your territory. And I don't know if that happens on the lower difficulties as well, but it definitely happens on Deity. All right, so we're gonna take this city, and what I'm looking for here is um, high population growth and then access to good resources in order to boost my uh, ability to make money. Because we took out the English, we got access to monarchy early. So that's why we can use that die right now. But I want the city to turn as fast as I can. So I'm going to go ahead and actually just leave it on population growth for now. We're going to come down here um, now to London. And we're going to swap this to two food, one science, just to get this to turn as fast as we can as well. This city just turned. So we're going to swap this to two production, one food, one science. The reason I want to do that is because I want to get going on hanging gardens as fast as I can. Uh, right now we're getting going on it by 2400 BC. That's actually like really pretty early. Um, normally I don't get started on it until about 2200 BC. So I mean it's just a couple turns, but really it can make all the difference. Uh, especially again at those higher difficulties. The reason I wanted to come over here was see like what else is in this water. I'm thinking maybe right here would actually be a good spot to settle. Oh, right here wouldn't be a terrible spot. We're going to come down here. I do want to settle this island. And then we'll uh, move our ship down and kind of see what else we can see. There are at least two more sieves out there. I see some space over here to the left and quite a bit of space over there to the right as well. Okay. So now we are going to go ahead and go irrigation and then construction. Okay, we did get walls first. I was kind of confused. I was like, I don't know. But again, I don't pay attention to things. So <laughs> it's not on purpose, man. It's not on purpose. Okay. Uh,. Um, hang on, I have to check something. <clears throat> Ceremonial burial is in four turns, so that's going to take a minute, and then we would have to build them everywhere as well. They're going to be 60 a pop right now, so that's going to be kind of expensive. It's just not worth waiting. I'm just going to take them now. I'm also going to drop these guys and see if that's a plains or a grassland right there. Let our ship just chill. Beautiful. Okay, so wherever the other civs are, they got to be on island. Or actually, maybe this connects up here. 
and then dives down and comes around. That's very possible. Okay, so as soon as this turns to three, we're going to build some settlers here, get them out. Swap this over to two food again. If this were... Let me go back to the city real quick. If this were uh, nine turns until population, I would put this on either science or production for one turn, and then I would come back to it and swap it over to food. And again, it's just staying with like the most economical way to get us there. The most efficient is the word I'm looking for. So that's, that's the idea. Um, as far as this guy goes, I'm actually gonna bring this up and go throw this over on the ship. Then whenever we find somebody, we'll uh, give it to him. That's not the Chinese. Okay, so we're going to come over here. We're going to pay for these settlers. That's fine. That can just go ahead and do population. This goes up here. Stop here for just a turn. I'm just going to wait. So then I can drop my... Settlers, um, and then I can actually settle them right away with those guys being there. Very, very helpful. I think we're going to build a city here. Early game, it'll be a little weird, but late game, I think it'll be pretty decent. Um, man. Not a great spot over there. Definitely build something over here. Maybe like right around in here or over here. We'll figure it out. There's a couple other spots, but yeah, we'll do some island hopping too. We'll just let those guys hang out. We don't need them. So this is what I'm talking about. We'll go ahead and drop our settlers. We can then swap to them. Found the city. Swap to our production, get going on two food. Again, we want them to uh, get to population three as fast as they can. Now we grabbed our militia, so now we'll just go ahead and head on down here south. Just want to see what else we can find as far as uh, islands go. See what's over here. Maybe find some better spots to settle. Okay, irrigation next turn should give us plus one population in each of our cities. Beautiful. Okay, and now we are going to go um, construction and then code of laws. I always do this. I want construction because I want to get the free workshop and then I want code of laws uh, because it'll give me a free trading post. Assuming the um, Romans aren't in the game. If the Romans are in the game, then they start with the technology and they won't, and uh, obviously you won't get the bonus then. So I'm going to swap this over to two food. I'm going to get this going on some settlers here too, just in anticipation of uh, finding another spot here on the islands. Okay, now that this is at population five, we're going to go ahead and go uh, two production, two science, one food. And just because we can, we're going to go ahead and build Stonehenge. I want um, Hanging Gardens, uh, or I'm sorry, Colossus here in the city where I build Hanging Gardens, if at all possible, just because that's going to get the uh, um, the population boom. Okay, so we're just going to go ahead and swap. Yeah. We're going to let that just do that for now. Actually, I do need to go back to that city. I'm sorry. Give me one second. Yeah, okay. So this is going to turn in nine turns. So I'm actually going to put this on two science, uh, one food just for a turn. Couldn't tell if it connected to another island over there to the left or not. 
I mean, if we go right here, we'll get access to that whale, too, with a courthouse. That's not a bad spot. We'll do that. All right. So we don't want to forget. We're going to come back here up to this. Oh, okay. Maybe I did forget. I did. I'm good with that. <laughs> Okay, so now we're going to go Code of Laws. Now we'll come up here. Okay, and that's already getting food from the fish now. What does that do for us? Six? Okay, wait, but it is... So it's probably 12 turns. It is, because obviously 2 times 6 is 12, and then 4 times 3 is 12. Both the math adds up on that with our plus 2, right? So we know this here is a waste. By going 4... Getting it there in six. No, that's not a waste. It is 12, jackass. Leave a like, subscribe if you're new to the channel. Thank you so much for being here. <laughs> okay, we're gonna come back. We're gonna drop our militia and just kind of play the same game just so we can drop our uh, settlers next turn get them to actually settle the city and then we're going to use our other cities to populate the island. I'm going to use London and the capital to really get into it. Same thing here. Swap that over. Just get it going on food, food, food. Check this out. Okay, so this is at 13. We'll go to science for a turn. That is going to be our gold city. So we're going to drop our settlers. Scroll up to him. If I move my militia right now, I will not be able to settle this city. So make sure you settle your city before you move the militia. And this city doesn't give me access to another uh, food source, and that's okay. So we're just going to let it go ahead and start building some archers for us. going on some more settlers check its production as well so 13 so we'll go ahead and get that going on two production i put that on two production right now anyway because i specifically want it to get me settlers i'm going to come up here to this city now this is 12 as well so i know this seems strange but we're going to go like this beautiful is that the gold city hold up They're both gold cities? Maybe? This would be a good... We don't really have any good science cities yet either, though. This will be a science city. No, this is going to be the gold city. <laughs> Let it marinate. We'll let it marinate. That can build some uh, archers for us for now, though. Definitely want to get some of them going. Yep, get our settlers here. Okay, so we got Kota Laws first. That gives us a free trading post, and then that also gives us access to a republic, which we're certainly going to take. And now we're going to go ahead and swap this to currency. Go ahead and pay for them. Check our food again. That is how we want it to turn. Up here, I just, I'm just i just going to leave this on those three food squares because it's kind of just rolling through it right now. Same here. I want to put these guys on that ship. I'm going to bring it back up. Should have waited. I was kind of hoping I could get to another island maybe first and drop these guys, but it's going to take a second. Okay, just checking production, seeing where we're at on things. Go ahead and settle them here. We want a uh, a uh, 
I forget what they're called, but the guy that gives you a bonus to your population, one of those people that we just got in your gold city. Um, I try to put one of him there um, just because it is normally my only gold city. So just trying to get it to, you know, grow as fast as I can helps a lot. When we get it built, though, I'll uh, kind of show you how that goes. Normally, I actually swap one of my cities to a gold city as well, just to make, you know, try to get it to build the market there. But we'll let fate decide on that one. Okay, so now that we've got those guys kind of stricken, we can kind of start seeing what we want to do as far as our next tech goes. Um, the Chinese are in this game, and they get access to literacy once they turn. So that we don't always get the benefit of that, which is plus one science in each of your cities. We could go for democracy right now. Um, normally in a uh, higher level difficulty game, I will uh, stick with Republic for a while, just so I can build up archer armies in all of my cities. Let's go see where I built that market. Oh, I think it built it right here. It did. Beautiful. Okay, well, this is the gold city then. We let fate decide for us and did us right. And that's actually where we got our uh, our population guy too, so that works out just insanely well. All right, now that we got a defensive unit here, we're just gonna get going on the library. On another city there, so we're gonna come up here. As soon as this gets to uh, its next uh, population, population three, we're gonna swap it to two production. Get it going on another set of settlers. I think we want at least two more. City doesn't have anything else really going on for it as far as special resources or anything goes, so I don't know if there's a much point. And having them do anything else for us as far as like concentrating on getting, uh, you know, a library or anything like that built. I don't really want to give that to the Germans either, just because the Germans can actually be pretty aggressive. I would build there if that had access to food. Let's go see what's up here. Go ahead and pay for those settlers. Check our population again. That's our quickest, so we're going to go ahead and do that. Oh yeah, we were going to settle right here. All right, we'll have this city build us another set of settlers as well, because we're going to want two more, at least, on the mainland. Just going to let that build an army for me there, and then it'll build a library. It's not a bad spot, really. It's really not. I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Um, we only get plus one movement. I'm not really worried about getting out and, you know, moving around this island that much anyway right now. So we're just going to go ahead and do this so we can settle these guys right away. Have them build some archers too. We'll just let them build them natural. We'll grab our militia next turn. No problemo. Okay, so we're actually going to have this build the Great Wall now. Should have done this a while ago. <laughs> That's all right. Just not using our resources to their fullest, but you know, that's fine, that's fine. That's how most people would go about winning the game. Beautiful. turns there. Actually want this on settlers. We just want production here and we'll build another set of settlers from here. That should settle us out on our mainland, I think. We're going to want another city over here somewhere, literally just to kind of defend against the Chinese. And then, oh wait. Oh, and then right here actually. I forgot. I was like, man, I could have sworn there was another spot I've kind of been eyeballing. Okay, so we got engineering first, and that gives us plus one production in each of our cities. Um, right now, we could go for invention or navigation. I am going to go for math. 
um, just to see if maybe we can get catapults first. It will give us a free catapult, but also it kind of helps in the uh, invention and navigation tech uh, line as well. So yeah, see, they already have literacy, so there's no point in getting literacy. People have asked about tech skipping too and how it really works, and I think it's mostly just dependent on, this is going to be a pretty vague answer, but uh, the total amount of um, science that you are producing as your entire civilization, right? Like, we're producing 50 science right now. That's okay, early game. Um, we can go ahead and pay for these settlers. We're going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to let this do this just for a turn, and then actually I want to come back there and get this place going on population. But I'm going to get this place down here settled. Kind of forgot what I was talking about before that, but hopefully I finished my thought. <laughs> get going on settlers here again. We'll just have this kind of build us. See, so it's four and two turns. If it puts me on six, that does nothing for me. I might as well just let this do production. And that's just kind of what I mean as far as like the ath matting up and stuff like that. As far as your turn rotations, you can there is a way to maximize. So we'll come back here. Go ahead and swap that. And we're gonna get going on a library here as well. I'm only gonna give them one. Kind of hoping that was gonna be a river. Just because I want to see who else might be out here. Doesn't look like anybody. All right, we'll give them the other one too to help it. Okay, we can afford these settlers now, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. Check our turn rotation again. Get that going on science just for a turn. The science is gonna do nothing for us, so I'm gonna swap that to production. It's not gonna help us get math any sooner. We're already gonna get it next turn, so be a little bit of a waste to do anything else with it. Just come back over here, grab these guys. All right. The real thing is, where do we actually settle over here? Yeah, see, they kind of took what would have been, like, the better spot. Hmm. Thinking right here. It's not going to be great, but it at least gets us over in the territory, so that's really all I'm looking at. Half price roads. Did get construction, or uh, um, math first? Mathematics, right? Catapults? Same game? I don't know. Um, okay, uh, we can take advantage of whales and getting a galleon early is actually pretty nice. So we're going to go for that. Um, we could also go for democracy right now, which really wouldn't be a bad play. But because I have that island that could use the whales right now, I kind of want to get going on that just because it'll really help it out. Come back over here. We're going to put this on population. See if there's anything I want to pay for right now. Nah, we'll just let it build. We'll just let it build. Keep our money. See if we can use it to uh, rush Colossus or something like that. Come back up here. We'll get going on a library. What about up here? Is this a river? There we go. Right. I know there's more stuff over there to the right too. I'm pretty sure there is anyway. We're gonna go over there because we got the warriors chilling. We can go ahead and just settle them. It's like nobody else is gonna be fast enough to get over there to that other spot on the right. That's okay. Our 
kind of squeezing our capital a little bit here. Normally I like to give uh, my really good cities like full space. I don't like to build anywhere near them. I mean, this is going to take its uh, grain spot, which is right next to a river. So that's actually a pretty good food square when you get a granary. But we're okay. We're okay. For now, we're just going to get going on an archer. And this is why I didn't want to go for democracy just yet. We'll go going on an archer here as well. Swap this to an archer as well. I'm just gonna let them build natural. Really want Colossus. Just because I can, I'm just gonna walk all over the German stuff here. <laughs> We'll probably go south under their island and then go over to the right. Okay, beautiful. It gives us our galleon. We will now go invention and then I'll go democracy after this. It is a little scary, too, to just kind of roll your guys out here the way I did, just to, like, set them up in the square and just, like, send them on their own, especially if you don't have anybody kind of up in that area. But being that we had the north blocked off, nobody should be down there right now, so I felt a little more confident about it. I am going to get going on... No, I'm not. All right, I'm going to go with a courthouse first. I was like, am I gonna get that die or am I really that stupid? Neither would surprise me. Okay, get going on a courthouse here now. And that's what I mean. See how that's getting the plus three already? That's just from getting iron work, so it's like you can kind of use that to be your guide, if you will. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Um, sometimes I would actually get going on World Trade Fair, but it's pretty early in the game. Uh, so I'm going to kind of roll the dice a little bit and not go for it right away. Every once in a while that one gets sniped. I feel like I do get to build that one most of the time, though. All right, get going on some archers here, too. We just want to get defensive units in all of our cities. Library is insanely expensive, so I'll just let that kind of do its thing. Same here. I think I'd like to buy Colossus if we're going to buy anything. There is at least one more sieve out there. One more sieve. I mean, if I do well enough economically, I can get um, granaries in all of my cities fairly early. So we're going to try that before I build one in that other city over there. I want to try to get it going tech-wise first. Okay. So now that we finish that guy up, we are going to go ahead and go democracy next. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So we're going to get democracy in two turns. It's what I want to do now is just go around and look at all my cities. So they'll get one. They'll actually build one the turn we get democracy. So that's fine. I'm actually going to come down here and I'm going to buy one. Yeah, we're just going to go ahead and pay for that one. Library there. We have an archer here now, so we're going to get going on a library here as well. Let's build that as fast as we can. I'm not going to worry about coming back to that next turn and uh, getting that to pop. Also, I'll go ahead and just pay for that library. I want to get going on a temple here now. We're going to get going on a courthouse here. Courthouse is going to be way more important. Everything else we're going to kind of let chill. We'll pay for one of these archers here 
in a minute just so we can get one um, in that city as well. Just kind of divide our forces a little bit, see where we can see. Bring these guys up here. Check over on the Chinese, see if they have a great person. We do have that spy. Maybe we could pop over and see if we can steal it. Is the Zulu? He's got Otto, love that. So we are going to go ahead and settle him here. Can't pay for Colossus yet. I'm just moving that catapult over to the, uh, what I would consider the front. Uh, for what would be setting up my blockade with the Chinese. Next turn, I want to make sure I pay for that archer in that city over there. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and make that change. And now I want to go steam power. If I didn't get navigation yet, I would go navigation and then I would immediately go steam power. Okay, we can pay for Colossus. We're going to go ahead and do it. Also, we hit 250 on our economic milestone, which actually gave us banking. We want to go and build our... Go ahead and get going on a library here. Pay for this archer, just so it has a defensive unit. Get going on a library here as well. Just checking all of our other cities, making sure everybody's got a defensive unit. They'll get one. They're getting one sent over. Yep, we're good. We're good. Three artifacts still. All right, let's 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 get out and be the explorers that we are. Zero-sum game, man. We want them. I was hoping. <laughs> All right, we're going to get going on a courthouse here. I mean, 100 science this early is pretty insane. Head north. Steam power next turn. Two ten. We'll go ahead and swap this over to gold. It'll do more good for us that way. All right. There's our cruiser. So now we are going to go railroad and then industrialization. Whoops, railroad first, I'll go back to that. Child, please. Railroad first, railroad will give us plus two production in each of our cities, it's just too awesome not to have. Pay for pikemen. Load up one of our units, and we will send these guys down here to the south. We've already got our galleon working north. Nope, oh, I want to grab that ship. there. Slide over here. I'm just going to pay for some pikemen really fast. I'm actually going to put this right back on the library. I'm going to get some pikemen up here. There's one. Two more. 
One should be Atlantis. Probably right down there on the right, actually. Little mountain peak right here. We'll head towards that. Alright, get this going on a library again. I'm not terribly worried about the Chinese right now. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and go industrialization and then probably the corporation. I mean, thanks? <laughs> uh, it's kind of a weird military technology. I mean, it does help if you're attacking for sure. Just want to see what's over here first. I doubt there will be an artifact, but uh, really I just kind of want to open it up and see what the Chinese got going on. go which was right where that mountain was go figure Let's see what else we can see over here we're gonna wait grab our guys but uh we do want to go find atlantis now that should be the last one saving money until we can get this courthouse back for the tank. Oh, perfect. Perfect. <laughs> All right, go ahead and grab that guy. Gives us religion as well. Let's give it this plus one. Culture in each of our cities. Very nice. Did I accidentally... No, okay, thank God. <laughs> I thought I accidentally took a Feudalism. It's like, that's a problem. Okay. Get the defensive units uh, set to defend. That'll get them fortifying now as opposed to next turn. Just gonna kind of look around. Can't get our courthouse. So we'll go with that. And now we'll go ahead and get going on trade fair. I'm okay with that. Johannes, another guy that's going to help with our uh, population growth, so we do love that. We're going to go ahead and get going on, we'll build a barracks here. The city has nothing else to do for us. We'll take this gentleman, find our next best city. Try to put it on, actually, we're going to put you right up here, bud. They need it. They need it more than any. What else is over here? Oh, there's another little island under there. What about this? Okay. Ooh, that's actually a really good spot. I bet the uh, Zula were going to settle that right now, though. <laughs> Risky for that biscuit. Okay. Okay. 
okay, we're gonna go a corporation and then probably printing press. Yes. Corporation because it'll give me plus uh, gold in each of my cities. All right. So we got our courthouse here now. We're gonna go ahead and go university. I'm not spending any money until I can get trade fair. build a temple here just because it'll be kind of cheap and easy um, and then we'll build uh, a university and a harbor if they're not settling that island I am literally gonna build all right I'm just gonna build some settlers <laughs> get going on a library here again Grab this guy. They might be. I feel like they are. But if they're not, we'll settle it. And if not, then maybe we'll come up here and settle this. Hello. Definitely build a gold city down there. Hundred and sixty two gold to turn though. Pretty good. Pretty good this early. I mean seven hundred AD. It's kinda gross. Got our ship up here first. Grab our settlers. City is just too good to pass up. If we can get it, I'd be really surprised. Got the Great Wall built just in time. <laughs> we go ahead and go with the courthouse here. Sure. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what they're doing. That's a really good one, though. Uh, two really good, two good population or population boost squares here, and then two die surrounded by water. A little bit of production, it's solid. Go ahead and just pay for some pikemen there, and then we're going to get going on a library here as well. Saving our money now. Paid for the pikemen just because I need a defensive unit there, but aside from that, I wouldn't really want to pay for that stuff. Just curious. See if this is a forest over here. Wilbur, love that. Okay, got our library here now. We're gonna go ahead and go with the courthouse. Run him up into there. Looks like that should be a forest. <laughs> Grab these guys. Oh man, I have to know. All right, we're gonna go ahead and pay for another set of settlers just because. If anything, it will put them on this big island, but I am really curious what's on this little island.
Okay, so we've got a corporation that gives us plus five gold in each of our cities. We're going to go printing press now. Um, that gives us plus one culture, but really is what it does is it helps us along with mass media so we can get that a little bit cheaper. And that gives us plus one population in each of our cities, which is definitely something we want. All right, so we've got our temple here now. We're going to go ahead and go with university and then a harbor. Head up here. Let's see as much as we can. Printing press. <laughs> oh, baby. Let's think about this. Let's think about population. Okay, if I go here, I can get that one. That one over there to the left. I'll get this and this. This would actually be a good square, too. Hmm. Okay, hang on. Is there anything over to the right? Doesn't look like it. Think right here. It'll get us this one, this one, and this one. Whereas this one's only going to get the two, and this only has really the fish there. Whereas this will kind of get those. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, that's going to be our spot. Wait one turn. There's granaries in each of our cities. We're going to go ahead and go courthouse here now. Another good spot to build would be like right here. Okay, so we're gonna swap between these guys. Go ahead and grab our settlers and settle them. Swap that to a market, I'm not gonna pay for it. I want trade fair. Beautiful. Let's see what else we can see. Really, you just got barbarians chilling right by you. Give me a break, man. Embarrassing. All right, because we have a unit here, we'll go ahead now and settle Wilbur. Gotta be getting close on trade fair. Okay, so they give us plus one culture in each of our cities. See, mass media was six, now it's four. Obviously, our science has improved during that time as well, but um, obviously, discovering things along a certain tech chain will open other things up a little bit faster. Okay, can't get trade fair yet, that's fine. I was gonna wait one turn anyway to hit this next economic milestone, which I gives us plus one population in each of our cities as well. Here, we're gonna build a temple and then a courthouse. Still can't pay for trade fair, we're just holding in that pocket. We'll just let our galley chill, we can't really do anything else. We have 32 for that, we'll go ahead and pay for it. We need to get going on a courthouse here as well build an iron mine here instead of a courthouse and then we'll build a courthouse I didn't even know we weren't at peace bud yeah no idea man oh forgot to look for trade for we'll go check this time I mean we got almost three grand we should be we have three grand exactly Tyler <laughs> Had. All right, now we got trade fair. So we'll go ahead and pay for that. Then we're going to pay for a bank, and then we're going to pay for a harbor. So mass media, plus one population in each of our cities. Now we're going to go with communism. Um, if I were getting attacked right now and I needed to worry about military tech, I would actually go for steel so I could get a battleship. Um, 
naval units help out a lot in uh, defense and attacking, so yeah, use those to your advantage as often as you can. So we're going to pay for our bank first, and then we're going to pay for our harbor. These are our uh, two biggest priorities. Okay, we got our courthouse here now. Then we're going to go with a harbor, or a university, excuse me. like to pay for that courthouse actually just because that city could really really benefit from it but I want this harbor first and that's why now we got 800 gold a turn have this build us some pikemen just some defensive units lightly right now I would swap to straight up gold but it's kind of rolling so we don't really need to I mean we're generating a thousand right now um what did I want to do this market in the courthouse here. Depending on the strength of their units, we might be able to stand up to that with that naval support. We have pikemen there, so we'll kind of let that ride. All right, we got that. Now we're going to go ahead and go with steel. there. We love that. We're going to go ahead and go with the university now. I'm going to pay for this courthouse. It's just too good not to have. We're going to get going on the university here. Courthouse here. Bank. And probably a harbor. Pay for our university here in our capital. 389 a, a turn right now. Pretty damn good. Not going to pay for the temple. I am going to pay for those guys. I mean, we're generating a thousand gold a turn. We'll be all right. I'll go kind of reinforce that front a little bit. Courthouse here. Okay, I give a steal. Now, I mean, if you're going specifically for tech, uh, things you need, I believe, are electronics and advanced flight. So we'll go for those first, see if those open up space flight for us. If not, then we're going to have to kind of start popping open some other things as well. You can always consult the tech planner. And it will, uh, it'll tell you exactly what you need. Let's get a couple more pikemen here. We'll go get a full army up. Swap this back to a courthouse. Probably should have did this before. I was being a little lazy. Henry Ford. Uh, normally I would put him, if I got him early, uh, I would go throw him over in my gold city. We're going to just do a university here. Um... But it's pretty much already built to where I need it to be. Whereas this city over here is really just kind of doing a couple little things. So what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to swap this to a factory. Just to build its production up a little bit. And then um, I'm going to move down here to the south. Then up here to the north on these ones. Mm, I don't know if there's anything I really want to... Buy. Yeah, I do want to buy this bank and that harbor here. We're going to wait on that until we get our great person settled in there. I'm actually going to pay for that university just because I can. And then we'll pay for a courthouse here too and then a harbor. That city will be doing really good here in just a minute. University's already there, so we'll go ahead and pay for that one too. We'll get a harbor. Same. University, and then a harbor. 
It's expensive, but I don't care. Harbor. Let's do it. Let's just buff up. Going hard. I build an iron mine here, too. I can use it. Get the harbor in our capital next turn. See, they're trying to kind of posture up a little bit, but they're not normally going to really, you know, challenge. Even if they do, we have enough resources right now. We could just go full into, you know, military and do what we need to do. So we're going to go ahead and go advance flight next. Our factory, then we're going to go ahead and go courthouse. That still has production built up, as you notice, which is why I did that. So we're going to go ahead and build our courthouse there, and then we're going to go with an iron mine here. Alright, so we're gonna step these guys up. Get that going on that bad boy. Get that going there. Build our army there as well. Naval reinforcements are on the way. Okay, so let's pay for our harbor here in our capital. 479. Uh, science a turn. Pretty damn good. We'll let it just go ahead and start building. Eh, actually, we're not going to build a cathedral. Let's build East India. We'll pay for that too, probably. Um, University. Maybe? Yeah, we'll go ahead and pay for that too. And then get a harbor here. Harbor there. Oh my god. Okay, uh, give me just one second, guys. And we're back. Um, okay, what was I going to do? Temple there, no. All right, I'm just going to keep moseying. Mm-hmm, hmm Just steady rolling. Not really too worried about what anybody else is doing. Okay, we got an army here now. We don't really need anything else in this city, so we're gonna go ahead and just swap to full on gold. It's about to slide up, we like that. Just check and see if there's anything else. I'll go ahead and pay for that iron mine just because we're pay for East India too. I'm gonna get a I'm actually gonna build a temple here because I can get it in one turn. Um, just swap that to a, eh, no, I'm not, I'm actually going to go, no, I want Shakespearean theater, there you are, just for giggles, so we've got our temple there now, let's go harbor here, I'm not going to build a university here, because we are going to build Magna Carta, I mean, playing the tech game is always, uh, or the, culture game is always a good thing to do just because I mean getting great people is awesome and then uh, the bonuses you get from building the wonders is also I mean always pretty damn beneficial too like I build hanging gardens and pretty much every one of my playthroughs I'll build uh, okay so that did open up space flight for us and a part of that too is because our technology is so high right now well, I mean only 1400 but in 30 1370 AD I guess that is pretty damn high so <laughs> but that's alright we'll go ahead and just chill here we're hanging out, going for iron mine there, so yeah, we don't actually really need to produce other stuff here. I am going to build that iron mine though, just to get that production going there. I don't care for that courthouse. This one too, just in these little islands. Get a harbor here. Might as well. We got the money for it. Pay for our harbor here too, actually. 
put that on a factory for now. We'll swap it over to a, um, one of the space modules when we get it, so. So I'm going to build a battleship here, get rid of that. And then, uh, I'm going to build a barracks here too. Yeah, not really too worried about uh, paying for anything else right now. We'll just wait till we get to space flight and then we'll go ahead and mosey on from there. Yeah, we'll go ahead and make peace. See, he knows he just can't handle it. Should be two more turns? One more turn? One more turn? Maybe. Two more. Okay. Again, we're not worried about anybody's threats right now. I mean, we have naval reinforcements, we have full pikemen armies, they have just regular legions, so we should be able to easily destroy them. Just got Karl Marx. factory for gold. Yeah, I'm actually going to pay for that barber just because we'll get a granary there too. We'll just let it build it on its own. Do I want it though? Not really. Not really. <laughs> uh, you can go up here. <laughs> All right, now it doesn't really matter, so we'll just go uh, the automobile, I guess. <laughs> We've got everything we need, so we're just going to go ahead and go habitation there. So you need one habitation, one life support, one fuel. And four propulsion, I do believe. And that will get you there in three turns. And getting there in three turns is the fastest you can get there. So I'm just going to go to four other cities, build propulsion units in all of them. Okay, so we have propulsion, 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 fuel, life support, Shakespearean theater, and then uh, habitation, though. So that'll get us every module we need next turn, and we'll be able to send that guy out. There. Okay, so my head is in the way, so give me just one second and I'm going to move me. Kind of put me up here for a second, I guess. Um, and then that way I'm out of what year it is too. But uh, I'm just gonna sit here. I'll spam B. Let's say 25 years. I was hoping it would put on all the other modules before it put on the other propulsion modules and stuff, but apparently not. Yeah, not at all. <laughs> all right. I was kind of hoping we'd be able to. See them, you know, go on one by one and watch the years take down as it goes, but robbed us of that opportunity. But anyway, it'll get us there in 75 years. That's actually three turns right now because of obviously, you know what I mean, the uh, time between turns shrinks as time gets longer in this game. So we'll go ahead and just launch that bad boy. And then I just come to all these cities and just put them on science. Don't need to do anything else now. We can rest, sweet prince. I will come over and just do this with all of my cities. We'll go ahead and pay for Shakespearean theater just because I feel like we deserve it. This place doesn't have a university. It feels left out, so I'm gonna go ahead and pay for that too. Okay, there we go.
go settle him down here. And we'll form our fleet. Oh, I forgot about you. Guess we can move me now too, huh? Coming back. Alright. I mean, now you can just kind of go for whatever you want. We'll just start kind of getting these military attacks. But should be one turn there. Settle him. Okay, so it should be two turns. I don't know if it counts the first turn or not. We'll find out. Organization. Yeah, you're not a threat, man. Oh yeah, there it is. Okay, so it does count the first turn. Sick! Boom, baby! But yeah, that's a kind of just, you know, rough little playthrough. I know that one was, you know, pretty breezy as far as, you know, just kind of rolling through the techs and stuff like that. But that is normally the tech path I take in all my playthroughs. Um, so you can use that. I hope that helps out a little bit at least. Um, so I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, please do leave a like. If you're new to the channel or you just haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button as well. I really would appreciate it. Um, let me know what you guys want as far as, you know, other playthroughs go, just kind of, you know, challenge runs or whatever else, you know, scenarios, any type of that stuff. Let me know. And, uh, you know, we'll start getting those out too along with our uh, weekly playthroughs. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really, really do appreciate it. We'll see you in the next one.